When they moved me in with the vendors, the social worker told me that they were very kind and very patient people. What a laugh. They're phonies is what they are. Mrs. Bender is a heartless witch and Mr. Bender is a total creep. He's always touching me. On the shoulder, on the hair, on the hand. He gets that same look that Mr. Fisk used to get when his wife wasn't around. Social services won't believe me if I complain. They'll say I'm just looking for trouble. Lying. Faking. Overreacting. Self-inflicting. Well, I'm not going through that again. I'd rather die than go through that again. So tonight, when Mr. Vendor started massaging my shoulders, I told him, STOP IT! He didn't. I'm only trying to help you unwind, he said in his sneaky voice. STOP IT! I shouted. DON'T TOUCH ME! And I slapped his creepy hands away. That brought Mrs. Bender running. What is going on in here, she asked. And after he explained it to her, I got locked in my room. Not the room they show the social worker. That's the room they tell me I'll get when I'm a good girl. The room I really get is the laundry room. They give me a mat, a blanket, and a bucket to pee in. So sweet dreams, Miss Leo, in your feathery bed or whatever you have. Do you really believe words are going to keep me warm and safe tonight?